There have been a lot of layoffs in the tech space, Sarah. Most recently, Cisco started implementing mass layoffs, which total 5% of their entire workforce. Why have layoffs been hitting the tech industry? Yeah, I think layoffs have been hitting the tech industry because a lot of companies overestimated their projected growth. And so they started staffing up. Um, and despite what maybe data told them, uh, things didn't play out the way they expected. And so now companies are needing to figure out how they can keep moving forward. And sometimes that means laying off staff, unfortunately. How have these recent layoffs paired with looming economic fears that have been really hanging over people's heads for the last few months impacted the current work climate? Yeah, that's a great question. And I think the current work climate is probably summarized in fear and uncertainty. Um, when I log into different social media platforms every day, I see so many posts where people are announcing they were laid off or they are nervous that they might get laid off. And I think there's also this underlying fear around if I do get laid off, am I employable? You know, how long should I plan to maybe be unemployed? And so that is creating a really kind of nervous climate out there. Let's break that down. So let's say you do still have a job in the tech industry, but you're one of those people that you're seeing that still feels this sense of nervousness. What should you do now? Yeah, the, the first thing I think you need to do is recognize that you are not necessarily next. And I know that's easier said than done, but for every person that you're seeing announcing that they've lost their job, there are so many companies hiring, but specifically if you are still currently employed, now would be a really excellent time to get your resume or LinkedIn profile updated while you have the space and time and you're employed so that if situations changed, you would be ready to jump into a job search and you wouldn't have to rush to do it. So that's probably the most strategic thing you can do at this point. And on the other hand, let's say you do get laid off. What should you do next? Yeah, so if you have been laid off, I think before you even go and search for jobs and update your resume and all of those things, you should really work your network and professional acquaintances. And you should consider reaching out to people, letting them know that you have lost your job and what you are looking for. And that what you're looking for is really important because you want to be very specific when you say to people, hey, I lost my job and I'm looking for whatever comes after what I'm looking for. The more specific you can make that, the easier it is for those people to then kind of be your eyes and ears out on social media or as they're hearing conversations at their own company. But we know that so many jobs are found and filled through word of mouth. And that's what you should do before you spend, you know, an hour or two updating your resume. You've covered for Forbes ways to redefine what it means to work in tech. So some of the skills that necessary to work in tech are transferable. Can you talk about ways to redefine? Yeah. So a lot of people who work in tech have this kind of narrow-minded vision of the companies they can work at. And sometimes it also has to do with this uh, perceived kind of prestige of working at a FANG company or MANG company, if that's what we're supposed to call it these days. And I think that the idea that if someone sees a household name tech company on your resume, that that's going to help you stand out, I think that's somewhat of a myth. And if you can redefine what it means to take your tech skills and explore working in other industries, for example, healthcare, finance, government, energy, there are so many companies in those industries hiring and 
companies you probably haven't heard about. And in reality, those companies might actually pay you more and have a better quality of life. We've all heard stories about what it's like to work at tech companies and how they try and, you know, squeeze every ounce of productivity out of you. And some of these other companies that you haven't heard of could pay you more, like I said, and provide you with a better quality of life. So it's definitely something to consider.